Well, I thought we'd beaten the sack. Turns out we may not have done. Let's see if we can keep our jobs. What's up guys, Jason Lamey here with episode number 15 of Sunderland Until I'm Sacked. Don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And I'm going to take you through what's been going on because we are very much in danger of being sacked. We're having still getting the messages from the board, I will show you very quickly, saying that we this could be our last game, which is slightly troubling. But also we found our way into the playoffs, which again, slightly confusing. If we go into the fixture list, you can see that since we last met in the Gillingham game, I believe, we've played Milton Keynes Dons, lost 1-0. We've played Ipswich and lost 2-0. Not great performances all round. We then beat Doncaster 3-1. Got a bit of hope. Shashua, Miller and Shemajli getting themselves on the score sheet. Then we lost to Burton. And that was, that was a hard one to take. Beat Fleetwood 3-1 with Clark, Quayna and Green scoring goals. And then we played Crew a 4-3 thriller with braces for both Miller and Quayna who are playing up front together at the moment because I switched to a 4-4-2. Transfer-wise, I've completed obviously the winter window. I've made one signing of note. We've also brought in Vashon Neufville who is coming on a free. He's not made the squad yet. He will eventually work his way up but he's not quite there. But in terms of what's immediately relevant... Deshaun Bernard has come in from Manchester United for 350000 He's been on loan at Salford for most of the season. He was playing quite well for Salford. I thought he might make a good addition to the squad. His pace is going to be really beneficial. Just gives me an extra option at the back and someone that can do some running for us, which is definitely the plan. But I think maybe the plan right now is to get into the game. And we have to win. And the fact that we have to win and we're playing Swindon, who those of you who've been following the channel for a while know, are my club is a bit disappointing. So let's get into things and let's see let's see what we can do, shall we? So the tactical meeting, we've got a suggestion we should move George Dobson in for Luke O'Neill, but I've already done it, so I don't know what that's about. We'll use the opposition instructions. We're gonna ignore the rest because it's sort of working. We'll see if we can make it carry on working. I think we can. This is the new tactic we've gone with. It's a four four two tiki taka. It's sort of working. It wants me to put Green as Andre Green as an in inverted winger, but we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Starting lineup wise, Max Green starts in goal because Lee Burge is injured, otherwise he would be in the, in between the sticks. We've got Timothy Fosu Menzo, who we picks up a booking today, will miss a game at right back, with Mengi Jamashli and Denny Hume is starting at left back. His form has been dipping rapidly we we'll have to keep an eye on that colder silver has been coming on quite a lot for him to fill in so we may see that sub happen clark starts on the right hand side with dobson and jones in the middle andre green on the left hand side with miller and quainer up top scoan bernard onion maguire de silva embleton and nicholas bentner are the bench today which is a nice combination i think let's see if we can get into the game and get ourselves that all important win Hopefully we will. I feel like we can do it. The players seem to think we're going to get exposed at the back, but, you know, that feels like that just requires them to focus on what they're doing if we're all completely honest with ourselves. I can't do the defending on the pitch. They can. Swindon team, it's a strong side. I'm very confused by Jonathan Brown starting at left back and Rob Hunt starting... Sorry, Jonathan Brown starting in the centre and Rob Hunt starting on the left-hand side, which tells me they must have a few injury problems I haven't spotted the Smith boys are in. It's a decent side. It's a decent side, but I think maybe we can still sneak this. Wants us to show the critics we're wrong. Pump them fists. Everyone seems happy. Fingers crossed, guys. We can do this. I think we can do this. I'm feeling fairly confident. They're 20th in the table. We should be able to get a win today. I'd be really not surprised if I got sacked, if we didn't, if I'm honest. All right, first time of the game. Hume with a throw-in. Two Quainer. Quainer has options around him, doesn't find any of them, gives it away to Palmer, and that's a very bad decision. Mengi to Dobson, Jones, ball forward, Green is there, can he get it? He can, can he get the cross in? He can, Miller can't quite get his toe on it to finish it. Good opportunity for us very early in the game, but if we get hit on the break here, we'll be in trouble, and luckily we have survived it. Back into the action, Hume to Green, gives away though, and Pittman finds Palmer, 
Jones takes it off his foot. Hopefully we've got a chance to score here. We've been dominating on every stat and now we're dominating on the score sheet. Curtis Jones with his seventh goal of the season. I've been sceptical about using him in centre midfield. The assistant manager seems to think it's a good idea and, you know, that has paid off this time. I just don't know if it's... I still don't know if it's the right decision even though he has just scored a goal for us but well we're going to take that as it comes i think as the season goes on assuming we stay in a job until the end of it of course all right 32 minutes on the clock fosu mensa with a throw in jones can't quite get there for the header but mengi has picked up the spilled ball and fosu mensa into clark clark gets tackled by hunt still picks up the ball gets into the box crosses it miller has a go green has a go paul caddis with Frankly, the stop of a lifetime there. We've won ourselves a corner, though. Curtis Jones will take it. Can he get it to someone useful? Finds Hume, and I have no idea what he was thinking there, because that was neither a pass, nor a cross, nor a shot. That was just awful. Luckily, we've got another... <laughs> Luckily, we've got another highlight, and hopefully we'll do more with it this time. Fosu Mensa with a throw-in. Finds Clark. Clark turns and shoots, and Jack Clark, what a goal! What a goal for Jack Clark's fourth of the season. That was outside. I, I couldn't even really follow what was going on. I thought it was going to sort of turn across because this camera angle was appalling for it. Clark picks it up, turns, volleys, boom, done. And on his left peg, which makes it even more beautiful for us. 2-0 lead, and I think we can maybe yell some praise at the boys now. And another highlight. Can we make it three? Jumajli to Hume. Hume to Jones. Jones to Green. It's got to be something here. G gives it away to Smith. Someone should have picked that up. If we're completely honest, that was not the finest piece of passing we've done. But Donahue is on it to Grant. Palmer. We need to win this ball back. Caddis has picked it up at right back and plays the ball forward to Smith. Back to Caddis. Caddis to Palmer. Palmer. Ball inside, but Dobson's there to pick up. He's been made captain recently as well, which has been really helpful to the side. Seems to be a sort of good leader for the team, which I'm quite happy about, as Jones finds Clark to Fosu Mensa. Cross inside. Green is there and off the crossbar. And that's gone out for a throw, and we've done okay off that. That's We've survived. As half-time comes upon us, wants me to close Johnny Smith down. That seems like wise, wise advice. But it looks like we're going to take a 2-0 lead into the break, dominating on every stat. That's what we like to see, and I think maybe we may have done enough to convince the board they need to keep us around. This should push us up in the table as well. I didn't see where we're at in the table. We'll have a look in a second. Played well so far, still room for improvement. That seems like a good shout. Let's see where we're at in the table, because we should get an update fairly quickly. I feel like I've got the table, so I haven't got the table anywhere. We'll check the table after the game. This should have pushed us up the table, you would think. But we'll see. You imagine with a throw and Kovar is there. He'll get that all day. All day long. And this means we're about to get hit on the break as Kovar hoops it forward. Shumajli is there to Dobson. Dobson will hopefully find some support. Looks for Green. He's never going to find him. Caddis will win that in the air all day. Hume plays it in. Miller can't finish it. Dobson picks it back up. And we've, we've you know, squandered that chance. But Green with a free kick. Mengi. Oh, Colin Quainer gets himself a goal. It's 3-0. Colin Quainer has found himself the form that he needs. Simon Grayson, who apparently has been appointed as manager, is losing his mind. But Colin Quainer with a tap in there. He must have been offside, if I'm honest, but we'll take it. There was no suspicion of offside. Also, nothing on screen suggesting we have moved up in the table, but we were three points behind fifth place. So even if this puts us level on points, I'll be quite happy with that. I think that's probably, probably enough for the board to be happy we're going to do some more praising as well right gonna drop in some subs just while i think about it we'll pause that in the background in case that turns into anything i've just been reminded by the assistant manager that timothy fosu mensa is on the limit of uh suspension for yellow cards so we're going to try and take him off just to avoid that i think actually we'll take off shimajli we'll put deshaun bernard in there and that prevents us having any unnecessary sendings off as well Shores up the defence at 3-0, which is probably a wise move because we have been very, very good at crumbling when we least need to. So this hopefully will tidy things up at the back for us. Closing stage of the game now, and nothing has happened literally since the last highlight except that I've put Chris Maguire on on the left wing because Andre Green was starting to look really tired. But we're seeing out, we're going to see out a 3-0 win at home. 
that's a good result. Well ahead of our expected goals today as well, which is really, really nice. Good performances from Quayner, from Clark. Mengi gets man of the match. That's all a good performance, and we're going to tell the boys they perform well. I'm going to say we probably are not getting fired today. We'll see what the media looks like in a second, and we'll see what the board are saying about will we be fired, will we not be fired. We'll also have a quick look at the table, which should pop up around about now. It has. We haven't closed the gap to Blackpool because they've picked up a 1-0 win today. But we're starting to make some inroads and hopefully we'll get ourselves somewhere with this. Right, no message from the board. That's always good. There's no message from the board saying they're thinking of firing us. We are just going to do a bit of a put an arm around and we'll do a... Your defensive work was top-notch because it was top-notch. Have a quick... Just a quick check of what the board are saying because, you know, we need them to be happy. They're not as disappointed as they were. I think we'll be okay. I think we'll be okay for the next episode. My ideal game to come back for, I think, in episode 16 will be the Oxford game, I think. Because having had to beat Swindon, I'd like to be Oxford next. But obviously, if things start looking hairy again around here, we'll come back early. But I think that's pretty much the plan. So let's wrap things up, shall we? As always, guys, you can find me on the social medias below, where I'm chasing lately. So that's Insta, Twitter, and Patreon. You can like and subscribe by hitting the thing there that I can never find because I'm not fully spatially aware. Or you can use the magic graphic, because magic graphic helps. But do like and subscribe, it's quite important. And until next time, guys, thank you for watching. I've been Chasing Lamely, and I will see you all very soon. Also, don't forget to check out the new Living the Dream series I'm doing with Harchester United of Dream Team fame, because if you haven't checked that out already, you really are missing out. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, have a good one.